What's up guys, it's the only Ninja One Aviators and Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel. Now guys, the saying goes, the pin is mightier than the sword, but I say, why not both? So if you haven't figured it out already, this is going to be a review over this awesome pin knife right here. It was sent to me by the good people at MegaKnife.com or Blade Addicts on Instagram. Some of you may have heard them. They're really awesome. They have great knives. I get a lot of stuff from them. And this is one of the things I actually unbox on my recent unboxing live stream. So if you want me to do more unboxing live streams, definitely let me know down in the description. Now, because this is a pin and a knife, it has two distinct parts and two distinct halves of the pin. You can actually unscrew it and see two distinct parts of the pin. You have the knife, which is going to consist of the top part up here with the, I guess, the uh, the clip, the, the pocket clip, I guess you would call that. And then you have the pin down on this end. First, I'm going to talk about the pin because it's super easy and it's super easy to get my point across. Um, it does come a little stiff at first. At least mine came a little stiff. But after working with it for a couple minutes and fidgeting with it, uh, it does get pretty easy to open and close like that. It's just a twist. Uh, so you can write and the pin writes just fine now in the box they do send you with an extra cartridge just like this but as far as getting new cartridges I'm not entirely sure I believe you can buy them online but I did not check into that part if you can buy it online I will definitely leave links to these also in the description below now for what you all came with is the knife part and when it ships to you it will be shipped with two different caps the solid cap and the cap with a hole in the top it's like a like a ring almost like a really small ring when you get it you'll be shipped with this cap the solid cap this is a safe mode basically it does have a built-in safety but if you're really needing it to be safe and not wanting to use it for the knife function for whatever reason you can put this cap on and it will keep the knife from coming out there's nothing you can do to get that knife to come out to use that knife you just Unscrew the cap nice and easily and then take the cap with the hole in it the ring. Ooh, I almost lost it That would have been bad and you just screw it on top and now you have your uh, Knife ready to go, but it is still on safety So there are notches if you see this the uh, zero or the O and the dash right there There are notches for its safe mode and it's unsafe mode when it's on its safe mode. You can't flick it up like it stops you and you won't be able to open it. And so this is how you should carry it when you know it's in your pocket or in your shirt pocket or anything like that. That is how I strongly suggest you carry it. And when ready, you can just twist it just like that so that the lines match up just like that. And when the lines match up, you can just use your thumb or really any finger you want to and push the clip up in order to open the knife like this. Now this, just like most other switchblades, is on a track that can get derailed if it runs into things. So for example, if you were to open it into a box that is too stiff or doesn't want to let it open, it will derail and become loose. So like if it's in your pocket or uh, opens when it's not supposed to, it may cut you, but it won't stab into you. It will get derailed just like that that is a good thing that is what you want in a knife you don't want it to just go through you if it opens up by accident now in order to fix this problem for those of you that don't already know or haven't owned uh, switch blades like this before what you do is you pull it the blade all the way out until you hear the click and then suck it back in and that's how easy it is to fix this knife once it's in there for those of you that don't know, in my day job, or I guess night job, I am a server, I wait tables, and so I am always using a pen to write down orders, or sign stuff, or, you know, throughout, I'm just using pens throughout my day consistently. And I was putting this in my pocket, in my apron, in my back pocket, all over, and I not once had it accidentally open. I was also able to quickly switch it back and forth between the safe mode and the not safe mode so I can open it when I needed it quickly and easily and close it just as fast and put it on safety without anybody really realizing it uh, is more anything more than just a pin because 
most people won't be able to tell. There was one person that has seen, had seen it before that I ran into, uh, and we had a cool conversation about that knife and about other knives that we both liked, but the vast majority of all the people I ran into for the past couple days had not, would not notice, did not notice, and I had to like, I showed them and they were like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. One thing's for sure, this isn't a heavy duty knife. This is gonna be designed for cutting things like, you know, tape or letters or uh, paper, stuff, stuff that's easy to cut. If you're looking for anything st stiffer than probably cardboard, this isn't the knife you're gonna wanna go with, but this isn't designed for, this is designed for simple uses and for concealment. So if that's what you're looking into, if that's what you're wanting to get, definitely check this knife out. I will have all the links down in the description. But I'm actually doing a tutorial on this knife to use it in a combat form, in a self-defense uh, form. If you saw the fight I did in the beginning of this video, it's actually going to be that exact combo taught to you guys. So if you want to check out that video, stay subscribed, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss when I post this Saturday because this Saturday I'm going to be doing that tutorial over this pin. So if that is you, definitely check it out. Of course, you know the like, subscribe, uh, there's the giveaway going on when I hit 25,000 subscribers, all that fun stuff. And for those of you that are still made it through to this part of the video, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. I'm actually working on a brand new six episode mini series, not on my channel, but on another channel called 4CW Media Productions. They are a great production company. They're working on several movies and TV series, and they're actually starting a YouTube channel to start releasing a series on that YouTube so if you go check them out leave links to them down in the description I will be releasing videos on their channel very soon talking about how you can make a fight scene and how you can make a film yourself so if that interests you definitely check that out all links in the description as always but until next time my name is DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out